Hello everyone, my name is Da Hong Liu. I'm a research scientist from Mitsubishi Electric Research Labs. So in the next 15 minutes or so, I'm going to present a paper to be published in ICASP 2020. The title of my presentation is Robust Primed Estimation of contaminated damped exponentials. So this work is done jointly by my intern, Yoye Xie, and my colleagues, Hassan Mansour and Petros Bafonos. So here's the outline of my presentation. So first I will give brief introduction of the problem, including application of damped signal and existing methods to extract damped signals. And then I will talk about our proposed methods, including problem formulations and optimization algorithms. So after that, I will show some numeric experimental results in fault detection application with performance comparison and analysis. So finally, I will draw a conclusion. So here in this figure, we show a typical damped signal using blue curves. So mathematically, we can represent a time domain damped signal ST as an exponential with parameter alpha, which indicates the damping factor, and F indicates the frequency and the theta as the initial phase. So damped signal can be observed in many real systems in all kinds of applications. So for example, in circuit, electric circuit analysis, damped signal may be observed during the transient state. And also for fault detection of the induction motor, damped signal may be the fault signal of some specific fault, for example, the bearing fault. And in mechanical vibration analysis, Damped signal can be the vibration signal. So in all these applications, it is very important to extract damped signals and also to further identify those parameters of the damped signals to further analyze our circuit or to our detect force or analyze the mechanic structures. So in the problem we're considering here, we have a noisy measurement. The noise measurement is composed of a mixture of damped signals and different types of noise, which can be Gaussian noise, can be spike noise. So our objective here is to decompose the noise measurement into noise-free signal of damped exponentials and noise. And further, we perform analysis to identify the parameters of the different exponentials. So here the challenge is that we don't have a noise-free measurement. We have very noise measurement with different types of noise, which can be Gaussian and spike noise. And we have no idea about uh, parameters of the damping, uh, damped signals. So in order to solve this problem, there are many different kinds of methods. So if the measurement is noise free, then we have many classical methods such as Prony's method and the metric tensor method. So all these methods are based on the Hankel matrix of the measurements. So if the noise free measurement XT is a mixture of capital M damp exponentials, then the Hankel matrix is a rank M matrix. So if M is small, then the Hankel matrix is a low rank matrix. By further analyze the Hankel matrix using eigen analysis or try to solve some equations, we can identify the parameters of those exponentials. However, all these methods are very sensitive to noise. So in real applications, we always measure noise data. So the data not only includes the damped signals, but also includes different types of noise. Uh, to solve this problem, 
total least squares metric pencil tried to denoise the Hankel matrix, aiming to remove Gaussian noise, and then perform further analysis on the denoised Hankel matrix. However, this method does not perform well for spike noise. On the other hand, Robert's piece A tried to achieve a low rank matrix by decompose the noisy Hankel matrix. However, the low rank matrix achieved by Robert's piece A may not reserve the structure of the Hankel matrix. So which means we cannot further analyze the low rank matrix to achieve the parameters. So to solve this problem in this presentation, we propose two methods. One is convex robust parameter estimation method. And the other one is a long convex method, which we call long convex ro robust parameter estimation method. So in the convex method, we formulate the problem as a convex optimization problem with some um, constraint on the nuclear norm of the Hankel matrix and the L1 norm of the uh, sparse matrix S. So to solve this problem, we use the ADMM method to solve it. So for the long convex um, uh, robust parameter estimation method, we formulate the problem as a long convex problem with constraint on the rank of the noise-free Hankel matrix. So to save, solve this problem, we use coordinate descent with projection method. So the details of our optimization algorithms are shown in this slide. So I'm not going to describe the details of these two algorithms. Here in the bottom, we list some operators we used in the algorithms, which are reverse diagonal mean, single value soft thresholding operator, and element-wise soft thresholding operator. You can always check the paper for more details about these algorithms. So to evaluate our methods, we have some numeric experiment results. So we're considering application in uh, fault detection in induction motor. So for in induction motor, when barren fault occurs, in, we will observe a small fault uh, signal, which is a damping signal in, of a particular frequency component in the state and current. However, due to the noise and the operating signal, it's very large and the damping effect, it's very difficult to detect a fault. So for example, if the measured signal is composed of the operating signal of a, a large magnitude and a small damping signal of the fault signal of fault frequency and uh, another harmonic um, rotational frequency, 90 Hertz component, with some Gaussian and spike noise. If we perform Fourier transform on this measured signal, then we can observe the operating frequency and the rotational frequency. But it's very difficult to detect the fault frequency, which means it's very hard to detect a bearing fault in this situation. However, if we use our proposed method to decompose the noisy measurement into noise-free, a um, mixture of signal, uh, damp signals and a uh, Gaussian noise and spike noise. Then we can further perform analysis on the noise-free mixture signal to identify those parameters. So here we show the parameter estimation results uh, based on our proposed method. So we can notice that um, using our proposed method, we can successfully detect those fault um, components, fixed components. Well, if we're using classical Fourier transform or using the robust piece A, and then uh, using a metric pencil to further extract the friction component, or using the total least square metric pencil, we fail to detect a fault uh, friction component. So, 
to further analyze our performance under different noise situation, we consider Gaussian noise only um, measurement. So in that case, our two proposed methods can also successfully detect the fault frequency components. Well, for the robust piece A failed to detect the fault frequency component. The total least squares um, metric pencil can detect a um, frequency, a fault frequency component. Well, if the noise is only a spike only, then the total least squares metric pencil failed to detect a fault frequency component. Well, robust piece A this time successfully detect the fault frequency component. So those two methods are not very robust to detect fault frequency component and a different um, uh, noise situation. Well, to further analyze our performance, uh, to evaluate the performance of our proposed method, we run a hundred trials of different setups. So we consider a total of six damped exponentials and we have different magnitudes, we have different damping coefficients and different frequency components and different phase. We set the signal to noise ratio to 30 dB and a different 10% um, um, spikes to run our algorithm to see how good our um, algorithms are. So here we fixed one um, term, which is the low rank term. For the convex method, we fixed lambda one, we tried to adjust the parameter lambda two. And for the long convex one, we fixed the rank one, uh, the rank of Hankel matrix to 10, uh, to uh, not greater than 10 and try to adjust lambda two as well. So in this figure, to fix, we observe that for the convex method, we have a very narrow range of lambda two to achieve a low, relatively low um, relative error. Well, for the non-convex method, we can, we have a very wide range of lambda two to achieve relative low relative error, to achieve relative low error and very relative high access rate. So from these two figures, we see that the long convex method are less sensitive to those parameters. So as another example, experiment, we try to fix the lambda two, which are chosen from the last experiment. And then we try to adjust the, the weight lambda one or the, the rank constraint R. We also notice that for the convex method, we have a very narrow range of lambda one to achieve high success rate with low relatively error. And for the long convex method, we can achieve high access success rate and the low uh, relative error with a, a large range of R, which is the maximum, the rank uh, constraint. So to conclude, uh, we propose two novel approaches named CRPE and uh, NRPE to decompose damped exponentials from contaminated um, measurements by Gaussian noise and spike noise. Numerical experiments demonstrate that our proposed approaches outperform classical ones in detecting small fault signatures, fault like damped signals, expecting robust performance in different noise situations. And thirdly, while the convex method is amenable to theoretic analysis and global convergence guarantees, the long convex method is less sensitive to hyperparameters and computationally more efficient. 
So that's the end of my presentation. If you have any questions, please contact me by email list uh, here. And um, thank you for watching my video. You have a great day. Thank you.